Welcome back to the Dirt Track at Lowe's Motor Speedway, the Vault World Finals, the World of Outlaws. Late Model Series gets the green with 13 laps remaining. Josh Richards trying to hold off a very determined Earl Pearson Jr. as Dale McDowell runs in third. Chubb Frank is now up to fourth. And Donnie Moran, defending champion, now rounding out the top five. And, you know, single file restarts after halfway for the late models. But you see everybody, all of a sudden, they're right back to double, doubled up. Now, if you have any cards left in your pocket, it's the time to show as we are closing in on the end of this 50 lapper we will have 11 laps remaining and here comes moran he's going after chubzilla chub bounces off the wall chubzilla chub frank not afraid to drive that race car hard just bounced it off the front stretch wall and continues on and he'll fall into the clutches of the 19 of steve francis as they battle for position number five and he, he wisely goes and moves down to the bottom these cars very aerodynamic so moving that spoiler or ripping that spoiler off can hurt the handling yeah like the sprint cars have the wing up on top but this car it's an entire wing Working it through the turn three and four. Daryl Lanigan, 2008 champion, right there, holds on to position number seven. Chubb Frank in the one star, and we are slowing. What do you have, Sarah? Well, just wanted to know, Chubb Frank, he's been struggling all weekend with that car, what kind of wanting to wheelie up on him. And Brad Baum and the crew have been working on the car a lot. And today, they changed the bar lift, the shocks on the birdcage. They lifted them up. They changed the traction shocks. Uh, they did a lot to that car to get it to kind of maneuver a little better for Chubb here this weekend. And that caution that we see comes out for some debris that actually flew off the one-star car of Chubb Frank. You know, in April, Chubb was running uh, really hard in the Colossal. It was a heavy racetrack. Up Hit into the corner number four, jumps the cushion right here, slaps Just the slaps end of the wall. wall. There you see the bar fly off. Much nicer than his last visit into that wall in April. He flipped up into the fence. Well, Chubb Frank, one of our stars of the World of Outlaws Late Model Series. You're watching him here tonight, but you know something? You can also catch him next week, Saturday, November 8th at 9 p.m., the dirt track at Lowe's Motor Speedway, night number one of the Vault World Finals, the World of Outlaws Late Model Series, and the Advanced Auto Parts World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series right here on Speed. We hope you'll join us. We know one person that wants to join this crew, and that is Josh Richards. He wants to meet Sarah Jane Hunt in Victory Lane for the sixth time this season. He already has a handful of wins. He is looking to tie Steve Francis for the most wins of the season. One car we need to keep our eye on is the 44 of Earl Pearson Jr. Tony Bakoven, what do you have? Well, guys, during the last caution, two of his crew members were up by the fence. They're giving him all kinds of hand signals. It looks like a baseball game down here. I asked them if there was anything wrong with the or if they were concerned, they feel like they still have something left for Josh. Roger, no radios, no spotters, nobody to tell you in your headset where anybody on the speedway is. You drive by the seat of your pants and you use gloves to talk to your drivers, basically. Gloves and airport sticks. <laughs> it's like landing an airplane in the middle of turn three. Here we go once again as Earl Pearson Jr. continues to chase after Josh Richards. Kid Rocket running that top line. McDowell still running in third. Donnie Moran holding on to position number four. Chubb Zilla's not afraid to go back to the top side. No, but we'll have to see how that uh, slap to the wall affects him. Well, we know one thing. With Shane Clanton going around, he is running in the 20th position right now. Josh Richards is leading, so that's going to give him second. But that difference for third right now is the number 19 of Francis as he is being challenged by Chubb Frank and being chased by Daryl Lanigan, once again looking over the champion's shoulder. Look at how close he gets to the inside. Well, that's where the moisture is right now. If you're going to find a lot of bite, you've got to go right to the bottom. And he goes to the bottom, just missing those banana boat boxes, as we've called them this weekend. And we've seen a lot of guys take them on this weekend. Union, Kentucky, Daryl Lanigan, the champion for 2008, the fifth different champion as we watch him motor at speed and at work in his office. Watch what happens when he goes down into the corner. You'll see the car lean right over. Yeah, you know, they drive off the right rear and off the right front. The left front in, on a lot of these chassis isn't even important, as we saw in the heat race with Rick Ecker. Daryl Lanigan making it look oh so easy. But I guarantee you, Roger, he is working up a sweat behind the wheel of the number 29 machine. Back up front, we continue. 
to see Josh Richards leading Earl Pearson Jr. When they come to the line this time, we will have two laps remaining. And Richards setting it up off the corner. And we've got a car in trouble here on the front stretch as we will be under caution. Danny Johnson in trouble, the doctor. Out of Rochester, New York, part of the JIR Motorsports team here this weekend. Looking to keep things fired up. Not sure what he's going to do. It looks like he's either going to fall in line or just go right down into the infield. The doctor, a competitor on the Advanced Auto Parts Modified Super Dirt Car Series up in the Northeast. Winner at the Orange County Fair Speedway, the Eastern States weekend, picking up $20,000. We'll take a look here from the Can-Am Cam, and the doctor looks like he lost a drive shaft on the number 27J. That's why he came rolling to a stop. We have three laps remaining. Can Josh Richards hold on to win the Vault World Finals with the World of Outlaws Late Medals? We're gonna find out, and we hope you stay tuned to do as well. Welcome back to the Vault World Finals here from the Dirt Track and Lowe's Motor Speedway. The final three laps of the 2008 World of Outlaws late model season. Josh Richards leads the way with Earl Pearson Jr. right there in second. Does Earl have anything for Kid Rocket, he Roger? He was catching him just before that yellow, and now he's going up to the top. Bringing it off of corner number four. Richards shuts the door on Pearson with two to go as McDowell continues to watch from third. You know his eyes have got to be getting big because if these two get together, he has something to get around both of them. Off of corner number four, white flag this time. Josh Richards out of Shinston, West Virginia takes him up into turn number one. A little nudge that time from the 44 of Pearson. That allows the one of Richards to get away. 20-year-old chauffeur looking for his sixth series win of the year. He will do it and win the Vault World Finals. Second will be Earl Pearson Jr., Dale McDowell third, Donnie Moran fourth, Steve Francis crosses in position number five. Roger, wow, that is dirt track racing at its finest. Fantastic run for that young man. A lot of hopes for uh, his future wherever he goes. Hopefully he stays in dirt racing. And that makes him the 15th different winner of all the drivers in this race. It shows the diversity of these racers in this late model division. Any night, anybody can put themselves in victory lane. So many peaks and valleys in this division. Yeah, and you know, it's tough. All the travel, you've got all the tire choices. You've just got so many different variables, but they had the right combination tonight. Josh Richards will bookend the season, picking up the win at the beginning of the year at Volusia and tonight here at the dirt track at Lowe's. And this is what kept him up in front. Off of corner number four, Pearson trying the top side, and he throws the slider on him. That is exactly what he wanted to do. And what that did was that took the air off the 44, put him up into the cushion a little bit, he jumped a little bit, got him out of shape. This standing room only crowd, Roger, got their money's worth out of that late model race. Absolutely fantastic. You know, there's 800 dirt tracks in this country and they all are wishing that they could have had that right then. <laughs> Cars coming to the scales, of course, they have to make weight. They have to weigh 2,300 pounds uh, minimum at the conclusion of the race. Donnie Moran coming across the scales as he finishes in fourth. Steve Francis finishes in fifth. So I guess it's safe to say with Lanigan winning the championship that Josh Richards will lay claim to the second place in points for 2008. As Josh Richards coming across the scales, talking to the officials right now. And of course, you know, Steve Francis had a very good run. He finishes in fifth, while Shane Clanton comes home in 18th. So uh, Shane Clanton, a tough night as he will fall back to fourth in points at season's end, Roger. Josh Richards picks up the win. His first year at the dirt track at Lowe's, Earl Pearson second, Dale McDowell third, Donnie Moran fourth, and Steve Francis comes home in fifth. Chubb Frank comes home sixth, seventh, Daryl Lanigan with his championship night. Eighth, always a strong run here with Steve Shaver. Josh McGuire in ninth, and Bloomquist up from 21st. Let's go down to the pit area with our winner in Josh Richards. Josh Richards, his dad, Mark, was over here. His team congratulating Josh. First of all, I got to ask that last lap. You have Earl Pearson coming up behind him. How'd you keep him back there? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I was nervous right coming into tonight. I was trying to, you know, defend second points, and, uh, 
The Carter was just phenomenal, and uh, you know we worked on it. And uh, Matt and Jimmy and my dad and Steve Baker and everybody on the crew and Randy just done an awesome job. And uh, it was just uh, I knew he was there the last couple laps. I just tried to do all I could, try to hold him off, and try to you know run as wide as I could. So it's uh, it was awesome. Inquiring minds are good. We've been talking all night about tire choices. What did you guys pick, and do you feel that that was the right choice for you tonight? Uh, we were a little bit softer than we were the last couple of nights, and it seemed to work out really well. You know, it never really gave up much, so it's, uh, it worked out good for us. It worked out pretty good, I would say. He's standing here in victory lane. Well, makeshift victory lane down here at the scales. Back up to you guys. A very cool, calm, collected Josh Richards, 20 years old, shows great composure. Grew up in this sport. Fantastic. Josh Richards wins the World of Outlaws Late Models Series portion of the Vault World Finals. He advanced auto parts. World of Outlaws sprint cars are coming up next. Don't go anywhere.